We are a 300 hectare arable farm. Um, we grow cereals, so wheat, oats and barley predominantly. Um, although we've just made the decision to put quite a lot of our cropland into environmental schemes. Um, we also started growing SRC two years ago, so we have 16 hectares of willow um, and the intention to plant hopefully quite a lot more uh, high carbon capture crops in the near future. There's been a bit of change in the past little while. Um, we recently diversified the farm into a, uh, a wedding venue, um, which has been going for about five years now. I think Resilient and Ready came at a pretty perfect time for us. Um, I moved back here in 2017 and set up the diversified side of the business, and Archie moved back a few years after that. Um, because the business, the diversification grew so fast it needed more people um, and Archie's been a huge part of that too. And then as time's gone on, we've realised that the way we have farmed for the last couple of decades isn't going to work anymore. Our dad is at the point of retirement, not sure he ever will, but in theory, um, and we feel very passionately about making sure that we can continue to farm here, even if we have to change how that looks. Um, so we were at that point of change and then we heard about the Resilient and Reading program. Dad's been a member of LEAF for decades um, and has always farmed to integrated farm management principles as far as possible. Um, we feel very strongly about protecting the environment and doing everything we can to farm in a sustainable manner. Um, but we need to learn. So we're effectively new entrants, is how we regard ourselves. Um, we need advice and input and thoughts on what we can do differently. And that's where Resilient and Ready appeared on the horizon, so we're delighted to be part of it. Resilient and Ready has allowed Brian and I to meet lots of new people, lots of really handy and helpful networking, which has um, allowed us to meet people who have uh, really helped us um, steer the farm in the right direction over the past few years and hopefully for a few years to come. So we farm on very heavy clay, um, but establishing crops in the autumn is becoming increasingly difficult. Uh, we have significant issues with black grass, which have become worse and worse over the last three or four years. Um, and that is our major problem. So that's the reasoning behind putting a lot of land that has traditionally been cropped into environmental schemes over the next, well, three to 10 years, depending on the scheme we're in. But we'd really like to integrate livestock into the system if we can. And it's interesting because, you know, we are, we're all learning things now, even Dad. You know, we've been an arable unit for pretty much all the time that we've been here. A bit of livestock has been, you know, we've had dairy and beef herds in the past as well, um, long before I was around. All this new uh, diversification that we're putting in on the farm as well, the willow and um, future ideas that we have, orchards, you know, other, other things that we've got in, you know, as sort of pipeline ideas. Um, these are things that even Dad hasn't worked on either. So um, it's really interesting for us all 